Yo, what's going on guys? Christy Flakes here for today's video. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while now, and that is looking at a player getting paid $17,000, guys. The uh, least guaranteed money in the NBA right now as far as the contract goes. Um, versus a player who gets paid the most money, which is a $201 million contract. So what I did, guys, is I took both those uh, two separate players. The one uh, that's only getting 17000 his name is Jarnell Eddie. He actually plays for the Chicago Bulls. So I'm going to put him on this, you know, self-created team, the Ducks, because, you know, Ducks are pretty good. I mean, I, I, I like Ducks, guys. I mean, I don't like Ducks. It's just like Ducks are a thing. I don't know. I just picked that jersey because why not? So he's going to get 48 minutes. And basically, we're going to see, you know, best case scenario, how valuable a guy getting paid $17,000 in guaranteed money could be, guys. It's actually, the contract is $17,224. Um, and then I took another team, filled with free agents, and I put on Stephen Curry. Yes, guys, also getting 48 uh, minutes. Because what I want to see, both these teams are in the Eastern Conference. And I want to see how many more wins Stephen Curry essentially by himself can get compared to the Ducks and Jarnell Eddy, guys. I don't know, man. I thought it would be very interesting. I also want to talk a bit about, you know, just like uh, contracts in general in the NBA and just kind of like the mindset behind signing a guy to a $201 million contract, all that good stuff out there. So, yeah, if you guys want some more of these type of videos like this, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video. It would be greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go uh, get going and start a simulation right here. We got some bitch ass math and stuff to do like that too after. But don't worry, ma'am. I'll pass second grade math class so it's all good. So simulate through date. Okay. So I have a question from you guys in the comment section. Damn, look at the goddamn Curry team. Like they're actually doing pretty good out there. Um, do you guys feel like the NBA should get rid of like the salary cap? Because I believe it is it is it baseball that has no salary cap and you can pretty much sign players for however much you want out there. Um, I, I never really understood the mindset behind a salary cap just because like if all teams are able to because a lot of people will say you know man like like the the big market teams are just gonna buy these really good players and I like that man it's gonna be like the New York Yankees and all the stuff like that which I guess there's some argument to be said about that but what I think about is that if, if all these teams out there are all for, are, are are able to spend the same amount of money you know as far as like their team making or thing like that um all these players are still gonna go to big market teams anyway man like that's just that, that's just how it's gonna happen all that really happens here is that the really good players um they get less than they, 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 they get less of the pie out there right man like they get less money in their contracts and everything like that you got other players that you know ring chasers that are going to take salary cap cuts and everything or contract cuts and everything like that so i don't know man i really don't think that it um I, I really don't think that it like makes teams not go out and build super teams still because i think that's the mindset it's like well all these players you know you're gonna have you're gonna have a super team on the los angeles lakers and everything like that i mean look at the golden state warriors they're still a super team they, they still got all these super players out there so it's like i don't really understand that mindset i really do think that the nba should just get rid of that out there because a guy like lebron james i mean he is I, I believe he is the second highest paid player in the nba right now um he's not gonna actually be the highest paid player next season unless he goes back to the cavaliers and signs the supermax contract but even with that being said man because like steph curry that's the reason because he stayed on the warriors he got that five-year supermax contract and stuff like that so it's like a guy like lebron james the the revenue that he brings to an nba team greatly 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 exceeds the amount of uh you know the amount of money that he's actually making out there right so it's like he pretty much carries ohio like cleveland he pretty much is the market for that team so uh i don't know guys it's just like i i feel like the salary cap and all that i understand why it's around i don't think it absolutely needs to be around i i just if anything i feel like it would actually help with players going to different nba teams you know smaller market teams if they're willing to shell out the cash because you think about that man it's like if all these teams have the same amount of money it's like why would a player go to detroit i can hand detroit man because i'm from there uh where they can go to like miami or the lakers or somebody like that you know what i'm saying so it's like where as opposed to if there was no salary cap sure the lakers yeah they got you know they would they, they would probably be willing to shell some cash and stuff like that but all of a sudden it becomes more of a debating war out there because you know they could be like uh, you know the pistons could be like well lebron we got this two billion dollar contract for you um, which my Pistons ain't doing that in Detroit, just saying real quick there, man. But yeah, uh, so that's my thought. That's my thoughts about that, guys. But yeah, so looking at these records so far, uh, I'm so surprised. Like Stephen Curry, maybe he is worth that 201 million dollar contract because he might actually lead this scrub ass free agent team to the playoffs. I thought both these teams were gonna be last in the NBA. Um, I gotta imagine that the the Jarnell Eddy uh, team is not doing too well. Here we go, man. We got a game coming up right here, man. March 22nd. Is it gonna be a blowout? And 
Yeah, I mean, 122, 88. Okay, respectable by the Ducks out there, right? So, yeah, I mean, how much, if you were a GM of a team, how much would you be willing to pay LeBron James? Like, if you were like, oh, I guess it would be the owner or whatever, man, because whoever's, whoever's pocket the money's coming out, man, how much would you, would you be willing to get a guy like LeBron James on your team? I'm just saying, man, um, you know, 34, $35 million a season, that's such a bargain. That's such a bargain. I know it's a lot of money in real life. Like, to us, it's a lot, a lot of money, but essentially to the value of LeBron James, that's like, that's like paying copper prices for gold, I guess is the best way I can say it, right? All right, let's go ahead, man, simulate uh, through date here against the Brooklyn Nets. Then we're going to do some math real quick, man, so it's not going to be like nothing intensive or nothing crazy like that. I'm actually surprised Seth Curry did not get MVP. He, he did make All-NBA first team, so, I mean, that's worth it right there. Look at that, guys, $201.16 million contract. Uh, Jarnell Eddie's not actually going to show up as only getting paid $17,000 because 2K does not go that low in this game. But here we go. Okay, so record-wise, they actually went 19-63. and 63. So value-wise, man... I'm really curious what type of stats he put up. Let's take a look at him first. So, player stats. Damn, Jarnell. This man put up 29.9 points per game. Okay, so let me add this into my bitch-ass calculator, guys. So, 29.9 points per game. That means... No, 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 no. And actually, I, I need to go to total to uh, total points. That's what I need, man. Total points out there. Okay, so 2,455. So, for the regular NBA season, for every point scored... For Jarnell Letty, he got paid seven dollars, guys. That's 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 like the opposite of a bitch ass contract. That's like a bitch ass contract for the bitch ass contract man, right? Um, assist wise, he had 140 assists, so he got paid 123 dollars for every assist he got out there. Oh my god, I can't even like Stephen Curry's numbers are gonna be off the charts. And then rebounding wise, he got paid 34 dollars for every time he grabbed a rebound based off that contract, guys. Now, of course, that would be divided down even more. This is a very simplified version of it, so yeah. Um, definitely not expect this man to drop no 30 points. Like, yo, Chicago Bulls called this man up or something. Get this dude some playing time. That's uh, solid numbers. Okay, looking at Curry now. 37 points per game. 37.1 to be exact. Uh, 7.4 assists. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 7.4 rebounds, 7 assists. Okay, so looking at his total points, he put up, what was it? Where's his points at? 3,040 points. So just to give you guys an idea right here, for every point that this man score one second here guys uh we got so three three thousand forty no guys give me one second okay sorry about that guys uh for every point that Stephen curry scored he, he got paid eleven thousand four hundred and nine dollars compared to seven dollars for jarnell lady guys compared to seven dollars for jarnell lady this man got paid eleven thousand four hundred and nine dollars that is insane assist wise uh for every assist that Stephen curry got he got paid $62,831, and for every rebound he got, man, he got paid six hundred and no, I'm sorry, uh, $56,857, and that's just based off the $34 million that he made this past NBA season, so, you know, max potential, you know, to the, to, to the, to the max value right here, that is how much you are paying for a guy getting paid $17,000 playing 48 minutes a game, as opposed to a guy playing, getting paid $21 million dollars um paying you know playing 48 minutes a game guys Stephen Curry versus Jarnell Eddy so absolutely insane right there uh let's go ahead though similar to, similar to the rest of these playoffs maybe we'll see the playoff stats too just because I got the chart pulled up I spent freaking you know all night making this chart not really I really didn't I mean oh wait they're oh, of course they're not in playoffs of course they're not in the playoffs like what was I even thinking right there okay man well I guess that's probably pretty much the end of the video I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed a very quick one right here I just I don't know I thought it was some pretty interesting stuff so uh yeah thank you guys all so much for watching be sure to drop that like Subscribe if you're new to my channel and peace out my friends. Hey guys, just a quick message right here at the end of this video um, I know that YouTube as of late has been having issues sending out notifications to your guys's uh, sub box and everything like that So just for the select few people that do not know about this right there You can actually click on this little bell here um, by the subscribe button on, your, on my YouTube page and it says get notified about every single video So you're gonna want to click on that right right there guys. You will get every single notification any single time I upload a bitch ass video. So just want to tell you guys that real quick here, man. Also, another quick thing. I do have a second YouTube channel. I've been kind of struggling with what I want to uh, do with it. It is, uh, it's called Extra Crispy. You can find it by searching probably Extra Crispy Reacts because that was the first name of it. Or you can go to this second channel link here in the description of any single one of my videos. Click on that right there, guys. And you are going to pull up on my second channel. I need to know from you guys in the comment section below, my friends. What type of videos do you want to see on my second channel? For the longest time, I was doing reaction videos. Those were okay. I mean, they were kind of fun to do. Sometimes they were kind of tedious. So, I don't know. I just really want to get my second channel going yet again. 
and I'm not sure what direction to take it. So yeah, man, if you want to check out my second channel, give me some thoughts in the comment section below what you guys want to see on there. Thank you all so much for watching, and peace out.